Now we're going to calculate the person's sample correlation coefficient or the person R or to solve problems involving correlation analysis. So we're going to have to solve one problem and after that another one, which means there's going to be two problems. Number one, for teachers of Pagasa National High School instilled among their students the value of, of time management and excellence in everything they do. The table below shows the time and hours spent in studying by 6th grade 11 students and their scores and the tests to Y. So for the person sample correlation coefficient, which is letter R, these are the scores and the time. X for the time and spent in studying. So if it is 1 R, so the score would be 5 for 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 15 for 5 hours of studying you're going to the score is 25 if one person studied one student studied for six hours and she got 30 points in the test so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to form a table the table you write the x the y and then x y you write x y x squared and y squared so just copy all the x, x which is for the time spent in studying, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, y, 5, 10, 10, 15, 25, and 30. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to solve for x, y. x, y means multiply x and y. So for number 1, it's 1 times 5, so it's simple 5. 2 times 10, it's 20. 3 times 10 is 30, 4 times 15, 60, 5 times 25, 125, 6 times 30, 180. So I, I solved this already so that the video would not be very long. Next, x squared is, you're just going to multiply the x by itself. So if it is 1, 1 times 1, 1, 2 times 2, 4, 3 times 3, 9. 4 times 4, 16, 5 times 5, 25, 6 times 6, 36. For this one, y squared means y times y. So 5 times 5, 25. 10 times 10, 100. 10 times 10, 100. 15 times 15 is 225. 25 times 25 is 625. And 30 times 30 is 900. So after that, you're going to substitute it in the formula. But before that, we need to solve for the summation of x, y, summation of x, and summation of y. Sorry for that. So summation of x, this is summation of x, y. It means to be in summation of x, y, is we're just going to add all of this. So if we're going to add that manually, 5 times 20 plus 30 plus 60 plus 125 plus 180, it's 420. So it's 400. 20. For summation of x squared, summation x squared 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36, that's 91. Summation of y squared is equal to, add mo lang to lahat, it's 25 plus 100 plus 100 plus 225 plus 625 plus 900 is equal to 1975. So, after that, we're going to substitute all the given or all this in the formula. So this is R, the formula for R, the person sample correlation coefficient is summation n times summation of x, y minus a, summation of x times summation of y over square root of n, summation of x squared minus summation of x squared times n, summation of y squared minus summation of y squared. So that's the formula. So n, how many of are this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6. So n is equal to 6. Next, summation of xy is 420. Summation of xy, it's 420. Minus summation of x, which is... Did we get summation of x? No, not yet. So we can Sorry for that. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. 21. This is summation of x. Summation of y, it's 5 plus 10 plus 10 plus 15 plus 25 plus 30 is 95. So 95. So summation of y 
is equal to 95. So minus summation of x which is 21 times summation of y 95 over square root of n which is 6 times summation of x squared 91 minus summation of x squared summation of x squared over 6 and the 6 summation of y squared is 1975 minus summation of y 95 squared so you can type all of these in the calculator so but we're gonna have first that the top 6 times 420 minus 21 times 95 that's 525 over divided by or let's square root of 6 times 91 minus 21 squared times 6 times 1975 minus 95 squared that's 544.6329 525 divided by the answer is 0.96 so 0 0.96 so our answer is 0 0.96 so therefore r is equal to 0 0.96 ano bang ibig sabihin ng r na 0 0.96 there are different tables in and in interpreting the r then this is one that we are going to use so if it is one perfect positive correlation 0 0.5 to 0 0.99 is a strong positive 0 0.01 to 0 0.49 is weak positive 0 is no or negligible correlation negative 0 0.01 to 0 negative 0 0.49 is weak negative negative 0 0.5 to negative 0 0.99 is a strong negative or negative 0 0.99 to 0 negative 0 0.5 baliktad pala a strong negative correlation or negative one is perfect negative correlation so that's for the interpretation you can also have this kind of interpretation there are other interpretations available in the internet that depends on the interpretation or the table that will be used by your teacher so for this one because we're just going to use the first one we get the 0 0.96 correlation so it's positive therefore the two variables that we have is the time spent in studying and the score in the test have 0 0.96 it's in here 0 0.5 to 0 0.99 so it's strong positive correlation have strong positive correlation so what do you mean by strong positive correlation so again it's r is equal to 0 0.96 so the time spent in studying and the score in the test have strong positive correlation. So it's positive. It means to be in, as one goes up, the other also goes up. Or if one goes down, the other goes down. So just like in our example, habang pataas na pataas ang oras, pataas, pata, pataas rin ang score. Habang pababa ang yung oras, pababa rin ang score. So that's positive correlation. So as the time spent in studying increases the score also increases and it is strong so therefore it's the time spent will greatly aff affect the test score so that's for the calculating for the person r next example is number two the following data are data on the height of a father and his eldest son in inches so this is the height of the father and this is the height of the son we're going to find out if the data 
support the hypothesis that height is a retire. So we're going to find out if they have cor correlation. If if they have correlation, therefore the height could be hereditary. So we're going to get the R. So the first one is X is equals to 70. So 70 and then 69. So we're going to solve X, Y, 70 times 69. That's 4,830. 66 times 68, 4, 4, 85, 88 rather. 69 times 65, 4, 4, 85. 65 times 61, 39, 65. This would be 46, 24, 5, 0, 40. 70 times 70, it's 4,900. 66 times 66, 43, 56. 4, 7, 61, 4, 69 times 69. 65 times 65, it's 46, oh no, 42, 25. 46, 24, 4, 68 times 68, so because they are the same, so 46, 24 also for this one. 5, 1, 84, 4, 72 times 72. 70 times 70 is 4,900. 69 times 69 is 47, 61, 4, 6, 24, 3, 7, 21. So... Summation, this is 410, summation of x is 410, summation of y, just add all of this, it's 401, summation of x, y is 27,432, summation of x squared is 28,050, summation of y squared is 26,855. So after that, we're going to solve now for R. So R is equal to N. N is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 6. 6 times summation of XY, 27,432 minus summation of X, 410 times summation of Y, 400. 1 over square root of n 6 times summation of x squared 28,050 minus summation of x 410 squared times n 6 summation of y squared 26,855 minus summation of y 401 squared let's solve that so 6 times 27432 minus 410 times 401 it's 182 over divided by so we enter directly so no need for this so 6 times 28,050 minus 410 squared, 6 times 26,855 minus 401 squared equal to R, therefore, is equal to 0 0.70. 0 0.71 based on the interpretation is it's strong positive correlation so it's strong positive correlation so it makes it begin the height of the father in, as the height of the father increases the height of all the eldest son is increase increases also so there's really possibility that the height is hereditary because the height of the father as the height of the father increases the height of the eldest son increases or if the father is tall so there's a possibility that the height or the son or the eldest son is also tall